with us, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. A lot of talk heading into it. Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping weather. This is a ten round. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. Tall guy versus short guy here tonight in front of us. Teddy, why does it seem so hard sometimes that some tall fighters don't necessarily fight tall? Because, Joe, it takes great discipline to stay on the outside. You look at him, you say, hey, you're tall. I wish I was tall like that. But now it takes restraint, control to stay in those quarters and make sure you don't give in and allow the shorter guy to get close. And now he scores with that left to the body. Fletcher's punch is far. He is What a big shot. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. Get up! One, two. Get up, damn it! So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Well, he's got the attitude, something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. What a hook by Iron. Good work defensively by Iron. Plus, he landed that counterpunch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. What a good counter punch by Iron. Not an accurate hook at all. Iron's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Well timed. Wow! Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Not able to land the headshot. They both decide to bring it. And the round comes to an end. We did have a knockdown in that round. Now, Teddy, if you're in the corner where your man was down on the floor, what are you telling him? Well, the first thing I do is I sit him down, I get water on the back of his neck. You know, I bring him to his sense, I make sure that he's clear and everything. And then I tell him why he got his backside put on that canvas so he can correct it. And he doesn't go out there and get caught again with the same punch. Irons coming out here after being knocked down in the previous round. How important is it for him to be caught? Great round now, back and, and bang, and away he goes. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. Fletcher's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. And just like that, Iron's Thunder rains down on him. 